What's up, YouTube? Bear with me. I'm kind of going through a sinus attack right now. <laughs> uh, but this weekend was a pretty good weekend. Um, I just went out one night and ran into some pigs. I actually took the bolt gun out uh, to get a kill with the PVS-30 and my 6.5, which I've killed coyotes with, but I haven't killed any pigs. And uh, I go out and I'm driving around and I spotted some, uh, I spotted a pig. And then immediately I saw some heat behind uh, that pig that came out of the fence line. And uh, there was probably close to a dozen pigs right behind him. So I ended up going back to the, to the Can-Am and uh, getting my PWS to 7.62x39 uh, with the XQ50 uh, from Ultimate Night Vision and continue to stalk. Got into some pretty good range and uh, you know what? Guys, these animals are quick. They they are really quick and they can cover some ground in no time. And when I took the initial shot, the sow went down. I started going for another sow off to the left and by the time I got back over to the rest of the group, the bigger sows were gone. There was just a bunch of piglets running around. Uh, it just shows how quick things can go down and I really expected to get uh, more than just two pigs, to be honest with you. I hit four, I hit, a, I hit two sows, and I shot two piglets, uh, but I was only able to recover one sow and the piglet that was nearby. Uh, the other piglet somehow managed to get itself through the fence, and the sow was also able to do the same. Uh, I just came back down from the bottoms and I saw a bunch of buzzers back there, so uh, it's obvious uh, they were able to get into some brush and, and die, but uh, I'll tell you what, <laughs> it went down quick. It, it went down quick, but I got some pretty cool footage, and uh, basically, I just wanted to share it with you guys. There's nothing really special to the hunt. Uh, it was just one of those spot and stalks, and unfortunately, they were right up on a fence line about 10 or 15 yards, and as soon as I shot, they disappeared like that. They, they had very little ground to cover and they, they got to cover really quick. Uh, usually when I'm out in the open and I bust them out in the open, uh, the follow-up shots are available, but when they're close to that fence line like that, uh, you better make them shots quick because they'll disappear. So basically the only tip that I have is don't spend too much time on one pig when you have multiple. If you hit it, if you hit that pig one time, hurry up and move to the next one because your opportunity on that follow-up shot uh, might be slim whenever they're close to that fence line like that. So hit them and move to the next one. You'll see in the footage I hit the initial pig first and then you see me take three or four shots on the other pig and I should have just let that pig go and started concentrating on the ones off to the right that was a lot closer. So uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen the stories. The headshot on that piglet was uh, brutal. It, it was brutal. Uh, 762 by 39, that was a Hornady SST. And uh, it was uh, it was violent. I don't usually shoot the Hornady SSTs, but I did buy it a while back, and I just wanted to shoot it out. Mainly, I shoot Wolf or Tula, uh, just some basic old hollow points, and I, I hunt with that about 90% of the time. But I did have some of those Hornady SSTs, and I put it to use, and I don't have very much of it left. But it is some good ammunition. It runs fine. Uh, it's just not as cheap as the Tula and the Wolf. But got some cool footage. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do like it. Please like the video, subscribe, get that notification going, and I'll try to get some more uh, content rolling. Uh, we're also going to try to do video here on the Can-Am. I know a lot of people have been asking about this thing, and uh, I will get a video up for you guys. Uh, I live in this thing. This is what I love to hunt with. Uh, I scan around with pigs with a Rover Thermal up top from Ultimate Night Vision, and uh, it's quiet, stealthy, and it hauls the pigs off, so I, I like it. We'll get to this later, though. I hope you guys enjoy the footage, and thanks for the support.